You're a misandrist, a transhumanist, so you do want body parts. Ah, but you're incapable of dumb labor. Hello again, everyone. We are Gaming by Gaslight, and welcome back to another episode of RimWorld. When we last left off, you know what? Go butcher what we've already got, Pliskin, if you don't mind. Okay, sure, why not? Anyway, yeah, when we last left off, it was... Kidding me? Uh, Molly. Yeah, beat that fire out, please. Wait. Why was it even over here? That doesn't make any sense. I didn't even have any power in that particular corner. You know, I'm not going to question it. I mean, I am questioning it, but I'm not going to question it too much. That was mildly irritating, though, but life goes on. Anyway, it was a very quiet episode last time. Not too much to... The hell are you doing? No, no, no. Cook at this campfire. Make some meals. Don't feed raw meat to someone, you, you psychopath. Oh, that's a lot of good meat. All right, then when you're done, haul this away. All right, so we do have to rescue someone. We can go attack a bandit camp. Oh, dear. Oh, hello there, Muffalo. Who is just dead for some reason. And down you go. You're not manhunting, are you? Male warg. Okay, he's just he's just having a little something to eat. That's that's totally fine. Anyway, moving on with our lives here. Alright, good. We are butchering stuff. It'd be nice if you'd haul this stuff in, but you know, there's Oh, actually, you know what? That's convenient. That's convenient enough for me. And Erisin. Now what's going on? Pliskin and Sam are both interested in breaking. Oh, someone was actually... Someone actually was going to haul that, but, you know, we'll we'll worry about that later. Oh. They actually, wake up. Alright, so Pliskin is in a, a less happy mood. We're in a pretty happy mood, though, because we've got a lot of food and a lot of supplies, and we should be able to make lots of pants and other useful materials of that general nature. All right, when you're... Oh, you'll never do hauling. Right. All right, I'll, I'll get Pliskin to do this. Once you're done, yeah, haul all this stuff inside, if you don't mind. That way it doesn't run away, and then you can go to bed or do whatever else you might have to do with your life. Oh, there's dirt everywhere. All right, when you're done, clean up the dirt, please. There we go. Oh, yeah, look at all that food we're making. Pretty good, huh? All right. Jolly good, jolly good. Now we just need those... those fancy meals. Those packaged survival meals. I mean, batteries seem kind of important, too. I mean, they're not the most important thing to me because we're going to be, we're going to be hitting the road come springtime in order to, uh, yeah, get off this dirty, stinking rock, which also, uh, brings to mind an interesting thing. I mean, it's, it's been a thing for a while now at this point, but I find it interesting, uh, that I guess, uh, RimWorld is not quite ready to leave early access just yet. What was going to be 1.0 is now just beta 19 because I guess uh, Tynan felt that the game wasn't quite wasn't quite perfectly ready yet. So it's going to be uh, sticking around. I I mean, the next update might be 1.0, but it might also just be beta 20. I guess it depends on how things end up looking out. Also, good good job there, Gaslight. More cargo pods. You know, Randy is being very, very generous. Let's see. A fragrant tea infused with leaves of the psychoid plant. Drinking it induces a subtle psychite euphoria. The tea is easy to produce at cooking facilities, but can produce psychite addiction if consumed too often. Many tribes use psychoid tea both as a daily energizer as and as a part of social and religious rituals. Okay. Um... Hmm. 
I mean, do I want to make a new policy? Like, uh, I mean, I guess frequency is the key thing here. Uh, scheduled, scheduled. All right, everything we're going to allow, uh, except for Luciferium. No Luciferium. That, that'll be its own thing. Actually, Panoxy Siline. Ah, you know what? No, we'll, we'll make that a thing. Only if mood is below. Oh, if beer will be, will be lenient with beer and smoke leaf. I think. Oh, do I even really want to? Yeah, ambrosia, same deal. I'll be a bit more stringent about. Well, actually, yeah, I'll be a bit more stringent with the more addictive drugs. So, yeah, you know what? I, I don't want to. This can be every day with the heavier stuff. Let's say, uh, oh, God. Uh, maybe every three days. Yeah, actually, you know what? We'll make, oh, well, yeah, well, something. Something in this general area. Oh. Yeah, you can't use for addictions, but for recreational purposes... Why not? Recreation. Yeah, these can be recreational. These can be... scheduled for specific purposes. Well, Ambrosia can be recreational as well. Everything else can be more of a, you know, every couple of days sort of deal. Unless I explicitly tell you to have it. Panoxycyline. Yeah, any... Once per day, I think, is probably about right there. Actually, is Goat Juice a mood booster? I don't think it is. Hmm. You know what, let's, uh... Yeah, these are... You know what, I'll forget about it. It can be a problem for another time. The important thing is we have some... Some psychite tea, and we may or may not want to use it at some point, just like we may or may not want to do something about our present lack of power here. Alright. Jolly good. So that takes care of that. I might want to stick around just long enough to get a, a single harvest of rice, because rice only takes a couple of days to grow, and then we can make some pemmican or... Or whatever is good. Okay, good. So we've got parkas, so everyone should have a parka now, I think. Maybe. Possibly. Uh, I'll have Molly wear this. That way he can go outside if he wants. That's that's good enough for me, I think. Sam's making the dinner. Harrison's got a parka on. Okay, and then I'm just gonna... Go in here. I'm going to clear force so that he doesn't feel the need to wear it all the time. But now we can unrestrict him so he can do whatever as well. Sam's the only person who still only has... I mean, she doesn't even have pants on. Poor... Poor Sam. Oh, yeah, that's... that's uh, you know, I just thought of something. I don't have a name yet. Because I'm recording in bulk again, but we'll say... Likes pants. That's your... I'm going to have to start playing with titles now. It's going to be fun. Oh yeah, people are... That's 10 degrees in here, that's not terrible. Oh yeah, because we do have a nice amount of heat in here. Might bump that up. Try to warm it up a little bit. Of course, that'll require more power. Let's say a nice balmy 17 degrees. Now I imagine 20... Or so would actually be better. But you know that'll that'll be nice. That's a that's a nice temperature. I'd be happy with that temperature. You know what? I'm I'm thinking of just forbidding this door except when absolutely necessary. We'll see. Anyway. The important thing is that work is getting done around here. That makes me happy. Oh, and we actually finished our package stuff. Hmm, so do we want better bows? Well, actually, we need smithing anyway in order to move up. 
I mean, beer brewing wouldn't be bad either, but I don't think we're gonna really be staying in one place long enough for that to actually be useful. All right, so yeah, basically just make a bunch of meals. Also, let's, uh, I'm gonna need an actual oven to make, yeah, I'm gonna need an actual oven. All right, so let's, uh, let's see here. Doodly doodly do. The old stove, that goes there. This, uh, we'll suspend that for now because it, it shouldn't take that long to build this. And for efficiency, I might actually want to put it in here, but on the other hand, maybe not. I'm also gonna, yeah, deconstruct these and maybe place some sleeping spots outside. For the time being. I feel safer that way. Oh, we actually might need more meat. Ah, uh, let's see here. Oh, wait, 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 I could make kibble out of, uh... Okay, now we can make our survival meals. Ah, uh, diddly diddly do. Survival mill, or meal, not mill. And what do we need? So we, oh, we do need vegetarian stuff for this, so... Not good enough, as is. But since we are going to be wanting to make a, a reasonable amount, let's uh, say, oh, good job, gas. You know what? Why, why, why do I make life more difficult for myself? There we go. Just type it out. Makes so much more sense. Okay. Uh, but I'm also going to say, hey, make a simple meal as well. Do until you have uh, 30 of them. There we go. And also up to about six. There we go. Pause when satisfied. Unpause at 15. There we go. All right, I'm, I'm pretty satisfied with this development right here. So, good. Also, get up. It's daytime. You can sleep when you're dead. I mean, we've, we've got some food. Need to work on making those pants, though, don't we? We need lever, and apparently we don't have enough lever. Can't make jacket. Uh, but what about pants? We we do have some lever for pants. Alright, fine. If we have to, I'll unsuspend the patch lever thing. Plus, I mean, it should result in fewer stacks anyway, so that's also a plus. Alright, now we should have more than enough power for everything. Which means I could actually probably even get rid of this and replace it with a heater or something. Life is good. Good-ish. Okay, good. So we made some pants, so Sam finally has some pants to wear. They're poor quality pants, but they are pants. I better make another parka. Alright, I am happy. Life is actually coming along pretty nicely. Are you, are you kidding me? A joy wire artist. Oh, and they're from a. Oh, they're from the war lineup. The war lineup. I don't really want to be friends with you. You're a misandrist, a transhumanist, so you do want body parts. Ah, but you're incapable of dumb labor. All right, you're not worth saving. And this time, I'm not going to lose you. I'm going to go ahead and say, hey, uh, yeah, strip bond. We'll, we'll take all your clothes. Actually, are your clothes any good? They're, they're mostly good. They're good enough. Probably. Maybe. Yeah. But yeah, you don't really have any worthwhile skills, so I'm just going to strip you and then leave you to die. Classic classic RimWorld maneuver. Your pants are more valuable than your life. Ah, 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 hold the phone here. Let's see. Parka. Well, the pants aren't really worth saving, but the parka is. Yeah, get, get that parka. The shirt is probably going to deteriorate anyway, so it's not that terribly useful, but... Alright, good. Now, if you're lucky, you're just going to freeze to death, and... I hear... Freezing the death is a very peaceful way to go. 
you know, relatively speaking. Not that I'd recommend it in any case, but you know. If you had to die in some way, I would rather die of hypothermia than of not hypothermia. Yeah. Something like that anyway. Uh, what are you doing? Oh, you're gonna haul some herbal medicines. Good enough for me. We're gonna need more meat, aren't we? And I've got a feeling this thing is going to turn on us at some point. Oh, I can't even see its needs. This is this is gonna be a fun a fun thing to watch, because you just know it's gonna go horribly, horribly wrong. Why is this one not moving but this one oh? Because of these trees. And we've got a mad raccoon. Alright. I can hunt that and haul that rock if I wanted to for some reason. Alright, let's see. Harrison, I'm I'm counting on you. Yeah, you hit him. No immediate danger, though. Well. I mean, I'd actually like to... You know what? If we if we don't manage to... If we only wound it down, maybe I'll try healing it up. Because then it might get tamed, and then we'll have, like, a sweet warg. We'll have a cool dog. And that would be cool. Because I like dogs. Though I, I must admit there is a certain cruel aspect of like shooting it almost to death and then patching it up, hoping it'll develop Stockholm Syndrome and come join our colony. Oh dear. Alright, you, uh, you better kill this thing. What is your shooting at again? Oh, it's only six. For some reason I thought it was much, much higher. Alright. You should probably get out of there, Orison. I'm pretty sure it's still moving faster than you. That's a bit of a problem. What, 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 what? Oh. What were you even doing down here and why, uh... Okay. This is where the run and hide mod is really, really handy. You're also running away from home, you idiot. Actually, you know what? You should be able to beat this thing to death. Come on. Like, it's just a raccoon. You're gonna get taken out, aren't you? I can already see it happening. Yep. Now what are you doing? Uh, where's Pliskin? Pliskin. Alright, I guess you gotta go save Mally here. Hey, don't eat my... Don't eat my bread. Metaphorical bread. Any, where where did this thing go? Oh, he's just wandering off. And he's gonna bleed to death in seven hours anyway, so it, it's totally fine. Oh, I mean, unless you're gonna just try shooting it again. Come on. There we go, alright. Good job. Hold the phone here. Oh. Alright then, never mind. Milk, milk the muffalo instead. All right. Some people. Oh my Jesus. Okay. All right. Please just drop him off here and then start patching him. No, 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 no. We don't have time. Oh God. Don't die on me, Mally. Poor old man, with no eyeballs. We gotta get you bionic eyes as soon as possible. All right, yeah, we'll, we'll patch you up. Okay, and yours is gonna bring that back. Good, good. Medical emergency, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're gonna be fine, Mally, don't worry. I mean, I'm not gonna leave him out here in minus 18 weather. That would be just stupid. But once he's patched up... Good old Pliskin. That's why you're the boss around here. Oh, and you got a scratch scar. Now what are you doing? You can dig at the steel later. First of all, rescue Mally. Bring him home. Oh boy, that was... That was much too close for my liking. Now what? Oh, we've still got this maddened raccoon around here. Someone kill this blasted thing. 
Come on. I mean, I bet it's not even injured at all. Okay. What, what, where are you going, Pliskin? Get, get back here. Shoot this thing. Kill it. Kill it now. Oh, and you're going to hunt the raccoon from all... No, 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 Arison. If you're going to hunt something, hunt it up close and personal. Where there is at least a chance that you're not going to murder your own friends and compatriots. There we go. All right. See, everything worked out. As best as we could have hoped, anyway. And are we already seriously out of food again? Man, life... Life is brutal, isn't it? Oh well. It is what it is, and we shan't complain. Or at least we shouldn't complain. But we probably will. I probably will. What is this? A dumping stockpile for what? Oh, chunks of things. All right. It's cool. Um, but... Cool as that is, actually thinking I have to get rid of it and I'm going to extend the barracks a little bit. Just a little. I mean, we're not, we're not planning on staying here much longer, so it's not likely to be an issue. Probably. But better to be safe than sorry, I say. Yeah, and then this can be for that. And, yeah, delete this. Almost finish this. You just need to wall it up a little. Alright, just finish these walls. There we go. You know, that's actually probably good enough, so we'll go ahead and take that down, and we can then turn this into a little uh, sleeping spot. I'm going to go ahead and close this vent. Alright, so it's indoors, minus 18 degrees, because we don't have enough heat to actually heat the uh, place due to lack of... Wi Why? So someone chopped this thing down. I know it's not... Uh, it's not the season. But, uh, you know, for growing. But we can at least make sure that our windmills are actually windmilling. Oh boy. This is gonna be interesting. Oh, you'll be fine, Mally. Don't worry about it. You are hungry, though, so I, I guess I do understand some of your anger. Can you actually get up? You can. Okay, so go go eat for yourself. That'll make you much happier. And then we can rearrange all these beds so that they're uh, better, better placed, I guess. Let's see, so... Yeah, we'll, like, place them around here. That's good, that's good, that's good. This can get replaced in here somewhere at some point. That's, uh... Yeah, there's concrete there. There's stuff on the floor. The floors are fine. It's all good. All very, very good. We're happy here. Nice barracks, nice home. All's good. Why, why are you sleeping, Yor? It's the middle of the day. Same with you, Mally. Get... Alright, I mean, I guess you're healing, so I guess... I guess I can cut you a little bit of slack. Yeah. Move all the things. Alright. Now, they're not all gonna get, uh, the benefit of this, but they should get, uh... They're still getting the benefit of that, so... All's well. Alright, good. Actually, I might reinstall this over here. I mean, I suppose if I move things around, we could actually end up with a nice, uh, a nice sort of thing going here. Let's make a bunch of jackets, a bunch of pants, because I just want to make sure that we're, we're more or less set for when the time comes. We'll make some button-down shirts as well. I might actually start letting fur be held in here just because it is getting kind of crowded. Actually, you know what? I'll let wood go in here as well. Wood couldn't possibly go wrong. Uh, there we go. Wood. It'll make this important. This is only preferred. All right, so that should cause us to slowly over time move all the wood in there. There we go. So now we'll have more room for other stuff. 
Anything else I want to start hunting? Because we probably need to start hunting other things. Oh boy. So hard, isn't it? So very- Oh my god, a masterwork patch lover pants. Mm-mm. That's pretty good. I thought you were dead. This thing is still- Still somehow alive. My god. Things are unstoppable. Truly. Uh, yeah, we'll hunt this guy down. Anything else we want to hunt down while we're on here? Oh, the muffalo left. That's unfortunate. I mean, it's probably for the best, because I wouldn't have been able to support them anyway, but, you know. One likes to have hopes and dreams of these things. Being able to have a menagerie of animals, and it is time to wrap things up again. So, until the next time, as always, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like button, or maybe leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you're thinking, and I will see all you in the next video.